Um, the paper icon, again, as you sh saw, gives you the music and the videos. It also does the videos so we can play movies. And this is, again, all off the iPod. So we're going to go ahead and play a video on the iPod. And as it cues it up, it looks like it's going to play a song, but then it blacks out the screen and then does start playing the video. And an old Saturday morning favorite of mine, Conjunction Junction, what's your function? Schoolhouse rocks. Schoolhouse really does rock. Now, this is another issue that we have with their video player. If you go ahead and remove power and return power of the vehicle or of the unit, remember we're at Conjunction Junction, what's your function? We'll start right up, and it was the guy getting on the train, searching the iPod, and what's it going to do? It starts playing the very first song on the iPod, and in this case, it's Alleluia by Donut Man from I'm a Farmer. That is very, very frustrating and very annoying when you are in the middle of a movie or whatever it may be, and you get back into the vehicle, and you have to literally go back through, again, this long list, and find where you were, start Schoolhouse Rock, and it's not even a matter of finding Schoolhouse Rock and going through the long-tailed list of Schoolhouse Rock, but now, as you see, it starts it from the very beginning, and you're kind of screwed if you're 34 50 minutes into a movie and unfortunately the only thing you can do is fast forward or rewind this does not uh, respect the uh, chapter marks on the iPod unfortunately uh, movies we have downloaded from iTunes store that do contain chapter marks we tried to use the skip and it simply went to the very next video which is unfortunate i want to show you one thing about the play uh the ipod music selection you can go through and see that you have a uh, selection for audiobook composer genres podcasts songs albums artists and playlists now if you go into an ipod that has an extreme amount of content like my ipod for example i have nearly 30,000 songs. Let me show you something here. This is the scroll button, and as you can see, I'm putting my finger on it. Finally, I get the beep indicating that it sees my finger, and I'm scrolling down, and look how long it takes to get to W. Now, last I checked, W is not the last letter in the alphabet. Even though the scroll is at the very bottom, I still need to keep pressing this rapid scroll to get where I need to go. And you can see we only have five lines here. And look how long it takes to lo load those lines. Now this is a problem that happens on just nearly any unit connected to an iPod. Not just Alpine, it's a deficiency, I believe, in the uh, I iPod OS and the cable connector that is going into the back of this unit. And like blaming Apple for the poor Bluetooth support in the iPhone on this unit. I blame Apple for the poor iPod support on this unit. What is a little difficult to understand too is how these buttons work. So here we are in the C's and one would think if I click this rapid it would either take me in a page or to the next C. But it it doesn't seem to be doing that. It doesn't seem to be doing page up. So continuing contest intro, we see a new line. I'm not even sure what this button does, uh, but it's uh, not very helpful because you will pass a lot of content where you're looking for, and then you try to get back to content, and you're doing a lot of this, and a lot of this, and even some of this, trying to find that one song you're looking for. And I'll give you an example. Um, let's look for Tchaikovsky's Slave. And here we go. So we're in T's. And I'm going to go try to get up to S's. 
We're going to look for SL. And again, I have quite amount, a quite amount of songs. So you can see how just trying to narrow it down to SL is taking a large amount of time. And namely because Apple has made it so difficult with the slow update of the screen content. Okay, so here, here we go. We're getting closer. I'm looking for the Slave March. So now I'm gonna have to narrow it down. And unfortunately, you can see, it seems to have evaded us. So this is not what I'm looking for. It's a different version, but we'll play it. And as you can see, it's the 15th song, 15th so, thousandth song. Say that a few times fast. And this will work. It's from Tchaikovsky's greatest hits, Slave March Opera 31. But you can see how delayed that was. Now, again, if I wanted to go back to where I was, it would be so wonderful to have some kind of button to just say, put me back to where I just was. But instead, I have to push the paper icon, push music, push, unfortunately, songs, because that's where we were. And here we go, all the way to the beginning. And again, trying to wait. There we go. And let's see. Okay, so now we're in ends. We'll do Cinderella and see where that takes us. Ah, it's not even Cinderella. How do you like that? Another issue in going that route is you don't even know what song you're getting. And again, all I can do at best is go back and forth using the reverse and the forward in hopes to get to the next song instead of going through that long list. But as you're seeing, there's just no quick and easy way of getting back to a song. So my suggestion is, is when you do do your music, rely heavily on your playlists and build your playlists out. If you have a very large iPod filled with a large amount of songs. Again, I don't think this is uh, Alpine's fault. I do think Alpine needs to overcome this problem, think outside of the box, and how it can extract the information out of the iPod so it can be much quicker in its adaptation in driving the music into the system. And I think that would go a long way in getting a uh, quicker response. I think Apple needs to change the iPod OS in some way so it could just download the uh, library XML file straight into the units. These units are heavily packaged with memory. Uh, 50, I have a 50 meg XML file. It could handle that, no problem. Start the car up, you have instant uh, access to the entire song list of the 30,000 songs, for example, that I have. Uh, and I think that's something that needed to work on. But that's that said, I think it's very important that uh, Alpine kind of figures this out, tries to get over. This is a third generation unit with uh, working with the iPod. They've had plenty of time. They've worked directly with I Apple uh, to get this going. And they really need to overcome this problem. Um, in short, the interface is really nice. I just wish they wouldn't truncate up here. Uh, I wish I wasn't forced to have to go to this interface that doesn't look too good. Uh, updating of the interface is just really slow and it's not really known why it's so slow when other units that they have, their single DIN units are much quicker. And uh, just navigation is just very cumbersome. Instead of being able to push this, I have to go all the way over here to push that. And again, anything with a long amount of information, you're, you're waiting, 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 and just waiting, which is really, really bad because in when you're out on the road, you really don't want to be waiting. You want to keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the steering wheel, not on your unit.